recording this okay matter in our surroundings uh before we start the chapter what do you mean by matter um matter are the tiny molecules um on the basis of which everything around us is made almost correct but not quite uh matter is made of molecules but matter can be made of atoms also uh but matter itself like molecules can be matter but matter itself is not molecules how do you define matter like anything like that has a weight or a mass and that yes. uh, occupies some space correct only two criteria for matter anything that occupies space and has mass is called matter that is the definition when anyone asks you what is matter this is what you need to mention uh, anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter okay just note down the definition So now, matter, anything that occupies space has mass. Can you guys give me examples of matter? Examples of matter. I'll, I'll start. A uh, book is a matter. Like it yeah, has so weight. Like human. Huh? Huh? It it occupies space. If I have kept a book, then I can't put anything like else on my hand. I have to go around the book somewhere. So book is matter. What else? Yes, we ourselves. We ourselves matter. Yes. What else? Everything around us. Everything around us. If the electricity that's powering the computer is that matter? Like it does not have a mass, I guess, but it does occupy space, right? Does it? Somewhere. Like, do you have like certain space just for electricity? But you already like mentioned the point. It does not have mass, so no matter. Like, दोनों criteria होना चाहिए. Two points with matter. As mass occupies space. Okay. So you already figured out that electricity does not have mass, so it is not matter. Uh, we need to write the definition of matter, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, somebody in the previous class, me, somebody said universe is a matter. Now that is like a very, very wrong way to go about it. Because universe, me, to sab kuch hai. You have matter in universe, but you have things that are not matter also in universe. So don't don't go for answers like that. Uh, what else is air matter? Does not have. No, it has mass. Oh uh, yeah, air could be. Yeah. yeah. It occupies space. Like you fill a balloon, like balloon expands. It's not like you can use that space for something. And Bachman, me, you must have like done that experiment also, right? Um, uh, take a bar, put a filled up balloon on one side and deflated balloon on the other side. Will both of them be equal? Mass? No. Mm -hmm. So next time when you come across, uh, like when we get balloons, we'll do this experiment. We can prove that air is matter. Um, ocean is the ocean matter? Can you count that yes. as matter? Yes. yes. Yeah. Ocean is made of water, salts. All of that is like substances. Has mass, occupies space. Okay. Now matter, you like there are three. Types, or you can classify matter into three types: solid, liquid, gas. And this is something that you guys have been studying about, like right from your childhood, right? Uh, so, abhi like when you're writing notes, make a table. Leave one column, like left side most column empty. यहाँ पे property लिखेंगे. And then make three more columns for. Solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. 
Okay, so now we'll be comparing the three different types of matter, uh, states of matter. Like matter can exist as solid or it can be a liquid or it can be a gas. Okay, what do you guys know about solid, liquid, gas? Abhitak, like lower classes, may whatever you study. Um, solid molecules have really combined and tight molecules. Are closed, uh, are, are tightly packed. Yes, yeah, there tight. you go. May, you have the right idea, but you need to use the right words. If you yeah. use the word combined, meaning so yes, tightly packed, compact, you can use, yes. The particles in solids are tightly packed, very close to each other, compact. So liquid make as particles with loosely packed. Pack. Pack? Yes. So one thing you guys need to be careful about is liquids, maybe the particles are very close to each other, but solid jesse it's not like solid may everything is tagged in one particular way. So it's not rigidity, it's not tightness. Liquids may they're close to each other but they can move, they can flow. Utna flexibility, like that fluidity is there. And compare that with gas. Very loosely packed. Very loosely, yeah. Here you can use the word loosely packed. They are very, very scattered. Yeah. So you can note down the first point. So the property is like where they differ, what defines solid liquid gas is particle arrangement. So Ms. Arun, solid, how do we write a tightly packed molecules? Yeah. Tightly packed, you can say, compactly packed, you can say. No, but Ms. the molecules are tightly packed, right? Huh. So don't say molecules, say particles. Because atoms can be there, right? Atoms can be there, molecules can be there, ions can be there. It depends on that section. So say, that's why we use the word particles. So in the case of liquids, So they're not compactly packed. They are, um, how do we write this? Miss loosely, comparatively loosely packed. Yeah, looser than solids. Yeah, liquids maybe they are, so the particles are close to each other. But not tightly packed. And gas, we can say they're very loosely packed. You can say they're scattered. Okay, so this is like the main, um, you look at what sort of arrangement is there particles may, or is say you can decide whether, okay, is this a solid, is this a liquid, or is this a gas? Okay, and because of this, you get the difference in properties of solid liquid gas. So we'll go over each property one by one. So let me know when you finish writing this, then we'll I'll start with the first property. Now my router. Make this. Ms. Averton. Yeah, yeah I've written as well. Okay. So first property we'll talk about is kinetic energy. Uh, do you know what is kinetic energy? Have you heard of kinetic energy pehle? Suhani has heard of it, okay. 
like jo jo pata hai like let me know i'm not looking for an exact answer i'm just seeing how much you know about it kinetic energy is mostly related to the word kinetic is related to body but over here related to is it related to motion yes like somehow kinetic is absolutely related to motion so kinetic energy matlab kya एनर्जी का मतलब पता है क्या इट्स फ्लो लाइक द वेट मूव्स द वेट मूव्स नहीं व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय एनर्जी इज इट शी इज अ कॉमन वर्ड राइट व्हाट डू यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड एनर्जी का मीनिंग एग्जांपल द पार्टिकल्स मूव ओके पार्टिकल्स मूव पार्टिकल का मोशन होता है मूवमेंट से रिलेटेड यू गैस ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड सो वेलोसिटी एक्सेलरेशन ये सारे भी मूवमेंट से रिलेटेड है तो सब में एनर्जी का मतलब क्या है काइनेटिक एनर्जी इस काइनेटिक एनर्जी द एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स वेरी वेरी क्लोज so it is the energy that's not produced it's basically the energy that is present in every moving body okay yeah. so energy pata hai na like even in hmm. normal like speaking wale terms mein if you have energy you can do something uh hmm. if you want to stand if you want to run if you want to play if you want to study hmm. energy chahiye hota hai na so even in physics energy is the capability to do work do work matlab like produce a sound produce motion um magnets attract karne ke liye like again if you have to attract something kuch energy chahiye na usko move karne ke liye so all these things are related to energy all these concepts uh so specifically kinetic energy is the energy that is present agar ek like if there's any ball that is falling down Falling down is also like movement, right? कुछ तो velocity है उसका. So any moving thing, अगर if it is moving, it has kinetic energy. Okay, so that is the sort of thing. So when we talk about these properties, right? Kinetic energy, fluidity, rigidity, intermolecular forces, intermolecular spaces. We are not talking about solid as a whole. We are talking about the particles present in the solid. or particles present in the liquid matter is made of these particles and is in particles ka property kya hai so kinetic energy is the okay solid mein jo particles hai unka kinetic energy kitna hoga liquid mein jo particles hai unka kinetic energy kitna hoga gas mein jo particles hai unka kinetic energy kitna hoga so you can see solid mein kinetic energy uh these particles have very low kinetic energy liquid is somewhere in between and gases have very high kinetic energy so gases may they have maximum kinetic energy solid may have minimum kinetic energy uh why this does this make sense to you guys yeah okay yes. now why why is this the case why is it minimum in solid uh, because in solid all the particles are closely packed together which means that it, they do not have enough space to move uh, and that's why the kinetic energy is low in solids medium in liquid and high in gas there you go so agar inter like if the particle arrangement is such that um, you know there's not enough space or like thing for the solid particles to move around so they are going to have extremely low kinetic energy liquids may again the particles are very close to each other but they can flow like they can move against each other utna freedom hai inko so that's why it's greater than in solids or gases mein to these are just zooming around here and there so maximum kinetic energy simple logic uh, low kinetic energy matlab velocity is low motion is low high kinetic energy matlab high velocity maximum movement okay so that is about kinetic energy then talking about fluidity 
Uh, do you know what is the meaning of fluidity? Can you repeat that? It was not clear, Suhani. Ability of a liquid. Liquid. But ability. Liquid. But what ability are we talking about? Liquid scale? I guess is it just me or uh, is it we even we cannot your voice is breaking Swani, that is the thing. Huh, you were saying ability of a liquid to Okay, any anyone else? Fluidity matlab? Ability of particles to move or sorry, flow. Flow, yes. Basically, the word fluidity itself comes from the word flow. Flowiness, basically. Yeah. Again, solid ke particles flow kar sakte kya? Like if I have a block of solid, is it is it flowy? No. No. So, flow, solids, no fluidity. Now, what can you say about liquids and gases? Can they flow? Hmm? Yeah. Guys, liquids can flow or not? Can. Yeah, liquids can. Liquids can. can. Yeah. And what about gases? Gases. Can. Yes. Again, the result of fluidity is also because of the arrangement of particles. Solid, like rigid, like again, there is no way it can flow. They're all just tightly packed against each other. Yes, I guess. Liquid, yeah, just, like, yeah. no movement between them. Is... Yeah. And next, we talk about rigidity. Uh, what do you mean by rigidity? Because I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Doing <laughs> yeah. yeah. it in words. I'm not looking for exact definition. Agar koi exact When there is no movement between the particles, like it the, cannot change its shape. Yeah, the particles are yeah. they at rest. Mm. So, Ashmi, you've given like the reason behind rigidity. Meg, yeah, you give the meaning of rigidity. That's basically it. It's related to shape. So, rigidity means uh, it cannot change its shape. If something is rigid, it cannot change its shape. You would have used this word in other places also now like if, if you can call some person they're very rigid with their rules they're not going to be flexible at all not being flexible basically yeah, yeah. so that's rigidity yeah. highly rigid possess fixed shape um liquids liquids are not rigid like if i put it it's not shape but they can take the shape of any container but yes Agar solids ka shape change karna matlab, mujhe bohat zyada force apply karna. Like think of modeling clay. Like unless and until you, I don't know, like punch it or something, uska shape change nahi hoga. But that's not the case with liquids and gases. They're not rigid at all. Uh, because of this property, yeah, solids are rigid, not fluid. Liquids are opposite. They're fluid, but not rigid. So, Liquids and gases are also called fluids. In general, you might come across this in articles. Uh, I don't know, like random places. Agar kahi pipes may you can only put in fluids or something. Then yeah, you can't put solids in there. You can't put sand and all that. You need mm -hmm. liquids and gases only in that particular place. So fluids. If you want to refer to liquids and gases both. 
collectively known as fluids take in fluids drink lots of water drink juices take in fresh air yeah Okay, now uh, related to rigidity is another property I want to talk about. So this property you guys know of, they're you're familiar with volume. Now tell me, solids, do they have fixed volume or will their volume keep changing? Like if I have a piece of solid, like a block of iron, block of wood or something, is the volume constant hoga ki is the volume hamesha change hoga? Change hoga. Constant. constant, right? Is the dimensions jitna hai, length into breadth into height, whatever it is, however you measure it, that number is going to be constant, right? If I take certain this thing. So this has a defined volume, like definite volume. Now, what about liquids? Liquids ka volume constant hoga ki change hota rahega? Change hota rahega. Constant. Change hota rahega. Oh, Suhani, which team are you on? Driti says constant. Meg and uh, Ashmi are saying liquids ka volume change hoga. Uh, Suhani, what do you say? Change, change hota rahega. Okay. Which means if I have like a two liter water bottle, so I can put like in the same two liter bottle, can I fit three liters of water, five liters of no. water? No. no. So like if liquids ka volume, if it is variable, fixed, um, fixed shape or fixed quantity of liquid, I should be able to, you know, keep changing its volume, no? So how, how are you guys saying that uh, liquids ka volume change ho sakta hai? Yeah. Now, what was your logic behind it? Because volume may change sometimes. It is a definite volume. Hmm. So it doesn't matter like whether I put it in cylinder or whether I put it in this shape or whether I put it in a vessel. If I have two liters of water, that will always be two liters of water. If I have 500 ml water, that will always be 500 ml water. But I want to know like what was your reasoning? Like why did you think that uh, volume can change? No, you must have thought of something, na? some example, something. Uh, yeah, I thought that the volume could change uh, because the, the particles in liquid are not really that close to each other. So I thought that it could change its shape. Gosh, that, there's a difference. Shape change ho sakta hai, lekin volume change nahi hoga. Okay, so if I have two liters of water, shape change ho sakta hai. Like if I have this much amount of water, it will occupy this much space only. But that space can be any space. Like it can, I can have, I can put it in a square, uh, you know, a cubical glass, or I can put it in a cylindrical glass, or I can put it in like a wide vessel, saucepan, jo bhi hai. But if I have two liters of water, it will always be two liters of water only. Okay, so don't be confused. Shape is different from volume. Okay. So, Hani, Meg, what did you guys think? Why did you think that is the volume change? Ho sakta hai? And the same reason. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, shape is different from volume, which is why I've put it as a different point. Shape is related to rigidity. Agar shape change, ho sakta hai, matlab, it's not rigid. You can make a note here. It possesses fixed shape. Isme, there is no fixed shape. Lekin, the volume is fixed for uh, liquids. Gases may be no fixed shape.
Okay. Now coming to gases. Okay. Volume of gases. Can you change it? Like, can do they have like a fixed volume or variable volume? Variable. Meg and Driti are saying variable. Okay, so Hani and Ashmi. I'll give you a hint. Gas ke liye usually experiments. Think of a balloon. Like, what can you do with a balloon? Uska? Volume change kar sakte ho, ki nahi kar sakte ho. We can, right? Kyunki ho bada hota raha Yeah. So gases have variable volume. Okay. So rigidity volume like combined, this also gives to another uh, property which is compressibility uh, do we need to write down intermolecular forces and intermolecular spaces uh yes but when we discuss it like rigidity ke baad, note down volume and compressibility then we'll talk about intermolecular spaces and forces okay Okay, so let me know once you guys done until volume, then we'll talk about compressibility. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm done with volume. Okay. Miss, rigidity and volume was supposed to be connected. They're related. Yeah, you can write them one after the other. I the volume. So Hani finished? Uh, Suhani? Oh, video seems to be stuck. Okay. All right. So compressibility. Have you guys heard of this word before? Do you know what this means? Yeah. Yeah. Compressing is basically making something compact. Yeah, yeah, making something. Making something? Compact. compact. Com Smaller size. Yes. So compressibility may that word it's there, come like the word press is there, right? So mm. squeezing, like is can you squeeze something or not? Can you press on something or not? That is compressibility. Okay. So if you have, want to know, if you want to have an image of it, uh, do you guys like watch random videos on YouTube? Mm -hmm. There's a YouTuber who uses a hydraulic press to press things, right? Yeah. So what that person is doing essentially is he's testing the compressibility of all those things. How force will it force to compress it? They call it the, the satisfying videos <laughs> when the machine goes down. Uh, some of them are satisfying, some of them are not. <laughs> but yeah. 
Okay. So compressibility, what can you guys say about solids? Are they compressible? Yes, no? Some yes. Some yes. Some no. Like? Like spawns can be compressible. Oh, that's an interesting case. We'll come back to what? that. That, that was a question I had in my mind I was going to ask you guys. But just focus on properties of solids. Abhi tab jo discuss kiya humne. Like particles being rigid. Think of iron block like a wooden block. Uh, usko easily press kar sakte kya? Are they easily compressible? No. 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 So solid, it's difficult to compress. Yeah. So usually not compressible. You need to apply like a lot of force, even when you apply force, like they end up breaking. Right? So solids are not compressible. Okay. This is quite simple, very intuitive. What about liquids? Miss you. Can't compress a liquid. So I think it's not compressible. Okay. Me? Me? Yeah, same. Same. Same? Yes. Nice. Liquids also you can't compress. What about gases? We can't. No. Can't. Can't compress gases. How can we? No, miss. Actually, we can. We can. That is what um, the fuel CNG is. Compressed yes. natural gas. Natural gas. That's a very smart thing in reference. I was thinking more of like, you guys must have played with balloons, right? Have you never like oh. squeezed balloons? Yeah. 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 And, compressed. Uh, have you seen uh, syringes? Any of you like played with syringes, like empty syringes? If, if any of you. Uh, it was to come in the doctor. Well, yeah. So, you know, when you press on it, under kya hai? Like, it, it's just gas, right? You can easily compress it. So, gases are compressible. Agar gases compressible nahi hota hai na, it would be so difficult to just exist. Like, what is all around you? Gas. gas gas and if you had to move if gases were not compressible if they were like rigid imagine how difficult just like doing this will be right yeah okay now uh ashmi brought up a good point sponge you can squeeze a sponge but solids are not supposed to be compressible because all their particles are packed tightly. If it's pressed, it's just pushing against other particles. Gases are compressible because there is a lot of space in particles. Ke beech mein. If you make it a smaller space, they'll just like come slightly closer to each other. That's why they are compressible. So how are you able to squeeze a sponge? Why is a sponge compressible? Uh maybe because of the uh, pores you know there are these pores, 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 yeah. pores within them so like it allows air to yes them. there you go so it allows air. yeah so sponge is compressible because what you're compressing is not the solid sponge you're compressing the air that is there inside the sponge okay so because Air is basically gas, right? Gases are compressible. So if you, like, suppose you uh, cut, cut up that sponge and then put it together without any of those holes, that's also going to be, a, like, pretty tight. You can't, like, compress it. It's going to be, you know, yeah. It's going to be pretty solid. So sponge is compressible because of the air in the pores between them. Yeah. Awesome. Now, next property, fairly uh, straightforward, intermolecular spaces. What do you mean by intermolecular spaces? 
the space between the two space molecules between the particles uh, intermolecular space is solid very low particles are compact liquid is a little typo here shouldn't be high should be low so liquids may intermolecular spaces are low but greater than solids let's make a note इंटरमोलिकुलर स्पेस आर एक्सट्रीमली हाई बहुत सारा स्पेस तो दिस इज लाइक बेसिकली द रीजन फॉर कंप्रेसिबिलिटी स्पेस है सो यू कैन लाइक प्रेस दम टूगेदर गैसेस लिक्विड्स स्पेस नहीं है लाइक या दे कैन मूव अगेंस्ट ईच अदर बट इसलिए द वॉल्यूम इज फिक्स एंड दे आर नॉट कंप्रेसिबल सॉलिड्स आर वेरी रिजिड कांट डू एनीथिंग अबाउट दैट सो फाइनल पॉइंट अबाउट इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्सेस दिस इज द रीजन व्हाई सॉलिड्स आर अरेंज्ड लाइक दिस लिक्विड्स आर अरेंज्ड लाइक दिस एंड गैसेस आर अरेंज्ड लाइक दिस Hi, Suhani. All good. Okay. All right. What do you mean by intermolecular forces? The and the energy between the molecules. Energy, ne? Naam mein hai na forces hai. Force. It is the, the force, force between force. the particles. Yeah. Ek particle, dusre particle ke beech mein kitna force hai? So a couple of points about this. Intermolecular forces are mainly attractive forces. Forces attractive हो सकते हैं, repulsive हो सकते हैं, right? Like magnetic forces, like gravitational forces, ये सारे. So intermolecular forces are always attractive forces. Repulsive forces भी हैं, but attractive forces dominate over them. So majorly net देखा जाए तो it's always attractive. uh another name for this you may or may not have heard of it they are also called van der waals forces um the table is done table yeah this is the last animal no this, this that's it so these intermolecular forces also called van der waals forces and they are mainly attractive forces so solids liquid gases can you guess uh intermolecular forces kis mein maximum hoga kis mein minimum hoga solid mein high hoga because wo, they are really close to each other so there's a lot of force between them because yeah. they don't have space to move anywhere is the other way around Extremely high है इसलिए they are very very closely packed. Okay, and liquids में medium like not as much as solids, slightly lower that is why they are able to move. अगर high है तो you won't be able to separate them out. You know, these guys won't be able to move. Gases में is extremely low like they don't care about each other like practically none. So that's why they are just like zooming past each other doing their own thing. so yeah these are like the main properties of solids liquids gases so once you finish this table let me know so i'll discuss a few more things related to this topic am i finished the table finish okay yes okay Ashmi, I'm guessing you also finished writing. Yeah. Um. So Ani is also done. See, okay. so the kind of questions you'll be asked, like these are pretty obvious. You guys have been able to figure out. Uh, you may be asked, okay, like write the differences between solid, liquid, gases. But lot more probability is you'll be asked questions like. 
why do we consider a wooden table to be a solid? So we have to write all of this because we kind of take images. No, you don't have to write all of this. But why, like, see, if you start writing uh, the kinetic energy of the particles of wooden table is very low, it's not like you can see the atoms and molecules of wooden table, right? Like they're extremely tiny, you can't see them. So how are you going to give the reasoning behind why it's a solid? Like you need to be able to see and test it out. Shape. Shape, yes. So wooden table uh, is rigid and it has a fixed shape. So you can say that it's a solid. Okay. So like those are the kind of questions you'll be asked and that's kind of how you need to answer. Another Let's repeat the question. Huh, like uh, justify or, you know, why is uh, a wooden table considered as a solid? Oh. Then another question is, um, this is, I think, a textbook question of yours. How can a diver, um, like, why, why are we capable of swimming in water or diving in water? How can a diver dive in water? Like, what is the fluid? I think of fluid is... Because it's medium. You're close. No, but like, fluid is not what we're talking about. See, like fluid, like water is made of particles and the particles are close to each other. So even though water is made up of particles, atoms or molecules, how is a diver able to dive inside water? I'll give you guys time to try it out and then I'll give the answer later. Um, does this include something about solid as well? No. We're talking about water, no? Water is a liquid. No, but like a body is solid, right? So Diverse body is solid, yes. But uh, this is the hint. Like, focus on liquids okay, property only. Because liquid Miss, is the one because, we... <coughs> Miss, because water is not liquid. It has no fixed shape, so it allows you to know. Can you fine-tune it a little more? Sorry? Can you fine-tune it a little more? The fluidity in liquid is medium, while in solid it is... In, while in solid particles cannot flow and in gas it is very high so like it wouldn't be called swimming but in liquid huh, that will explain why water is flowing so when you're answering questions like these focus on one thing only like when we're talking about water just explain what is like liquid doing so don't bring solids and gases into that yeah um Fluidity, okay, but dig a little deeper. Like, again, fine-tune it. Because it is not rigid. So, like... That's what Ashmi said, no? Fluidity. Focus on the particles of water. With are loosely packed, so it's easier to move. Yes. So talk about it in terms of intermolecular forces and intermolecular spaces. So water is a liquid, right? Liquid may, uh, the particles of a liquid have low intermolecular forces. Mm. 
so it is easy to separate them out so when a diver is diving it is easy for the diver to you know uh, like to separate out these particles and cut through water that's why you can like dive inside water like imagine this is like water instead of air uh if it was solid if the intermolecular forces is very high i can't go inside because all of them are like sticking to each other pretty high pretty well but when it comes to a liquid like i can't put my hand inside it but because of the low intermolecular forces i can separate the particles out easily that's why you know you can put your hand in water or go diving and swimming inside water so that's how you kind of formulate your answer but yeah this is just to say like is chapter may i said it's going to be a very theoretical chapter right so this is the concept that you learn but the kind of questions you'll be asked is more of the sort of very application based understanding based questions okay uh let's see is repeated question and answer again i want to know yeah so diver can cut through water because water being liquid yeah i'll just give you the bullet points and then you can formulate it based on the question okay so one is water let me share this thing and the diver can make so water is a liquid and liquid so in a liquid the uh, intermolecular forces between particles so they are low so in your flow you can also use the word weak weak forces eh so it is easy to uh go through or go in between the particles and the question was why is it easy for a diver to swim ah huh, like how can a diver to swim uh, dive or swim in water we'll do the questions like when we come to the end of the chapter we'll do have you guys set up a uh, flipper flipper app may have you guys set up your yes, account i was having problem okay the four number pin code it was an auto fill but i wasn't getting an sms nay in your profile you're supposed to uh, fill up four Digit pin code. I think there's a pin code, and you get an SMS for it, and then it's auto fill. So I wasn't receiving the SMS for it, which did not let me proceed. No, no. Because of that, I no four digit pin. के लिए SMS नहीं मिलेगा. So first step, you enter your phone number. Yeah, you get the OTP. OTP. That OTP is six huh. digits. You filled it up. Yes. Yes. उसके बाद you did add account. Yes. तो वहां पे द पिन दैट यू फिल इज लाइक योर ओन सीक्रेट पिन एटीएम का पिन जैसे होता है उसके लिए ओटीपी नहीं मिलेगा यू यू सेट योर ओन पिन फिल द रेस्ट ऑफ द डिटेल एंड यू कैन क्रिएट योर अकाउंट बट मिस इट वाजंट लेटिंग मी टेल सो अच्छा इफ यू हैव टू पुट योर ओन पिन इट वाजंट सो सेट पिन है ना सो यू जस्ट लाइक सेट योर ओन पिन फिल अप द रेस्ट ऑफ द डिटेल्स and then just confirm and then your account will be created okay okay yeah. miss in the last 5 minutes i'll try to send a few yeah yeah like after the class or last 5 minutes okay. okay 
So once the chapter is done, we'll do practice questions from the app. Okay. Okay. Now coming back to this, let let me see if uh, we have completed this thing. So these are the different properties of matter. Uh, we talked about matter, solid, liquid, gas, humidity. We'll talk about it later. Density. Okay. Uh, have you guys learned what do you mean by density? Have you uh, come across this concept before, this word? Suhani has. Agar nahi seekha hai, to I'll talk about it. But if you already know about it, then I can pick it up from there. I've heard about this, but not in the terms of chemistry. Yeah. Density is density. It doesn't matter if it's chemistry or physics or what. Like, just tell me density what you know. Is the depth in... Depth nahi hai. Let's go to both at once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, definitely. Okay, so density, it's like, it's got definition, yeah, as it says here, it is the mass occupied by a solid or liquid or a gas, bhi ho sakta hai. so it's basically mass occupied per unit volume. So mathematical formula for density, uh, density is represented by rho, this is a Greek alphabet. So when you talk about Archimedes principle, when you actually do things related to density, you'll come across this. Represented by rho, it is mass upon volume. So total mass occupied per unit volume. So conceptually, if you have to understand it, it's like if I have a particular volume, like one centimeter cube block of a substance, how tightly are the particles packed in it? Okay, so to understand what we talk about when we talk about density, imagine we have two identical boxes, like length, breadth, height, sub kuch ek jaise hai. Okay, we have two boxes here. Uh, let's say first box me, I'm filling it up with cricket balls. And second box me, I fill it up with marbles. Okay, so if I count the number of cricket balls in the first box, and if I count the number of marbles that I fill it up in the second balls, which number will be higher? Marbles. Marbles. Marbles, marbles will be higher, right? So we say like marbles, the number will be higher, and these are more densely packed. So it's more the mass, more the, no, like you say it's more densely packed. Yes. See, directly proportional hai na, numerator mein hai. Agar mass greater hai, to density is yada hoga. At the same time, if I'm able to, like somehow I'm a magician, and if I'm able to pack marbles only, equal number of marbles, but yaha pe pura aise pack kar liya mene, all of them touching each other, but here I pack it like very, very far away from each other. So this is again less densely packed. Right? So less mass means less density for equal volume. Flip side is also true. Like if I take equal number of things, but in one case, um, I'm able to occupy more volume. And in the other case, I'm able to like occupy less volume. So in dono case me i have nine marbles is me i can fit it up in like this tiny box in this case i fit it in like this large box so again iska density zyada hai so more density and this one's density is more the mass more the density yes for constant volume okay agar mass constant hai so more volume is less density, less volume is more density. You must have like- Miss, 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 what did you say after that? After you said something with volume. For constant volume, like agar constant volume hai, uh -huh. 
so something that has more mass will be will have more density less mass will be less density lekin if ha, mass but then if it's constant. more volume to ha like if my mass is constant like ek 1 kg iron liya maine aur 1 kg whatever feathers liya maine so more volume will mean less density less volume will mean more density बहुत ज्यादा है something is really dense matlab there's a lot of matter could be matter atoms molecules people whatever in a small amount of space less density matlab less particles in that particular space okay so now coming to our solid liquid gas uh if you compare densities of solids liquids and gases which one will have more density solids तो ऑर्डर क्या रहेगा सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स गैसेस में हां यही सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स हाई मीडियम लो हां सॉलिड्स विल बी मैक्सिमम फॉलोड बाय लिक्विड्स फॉलोड बाय गैसेस ओके सो नाउ इफ आई कंपेयर आइस एंड वाटर किसका डेंसिटी ज्यादा होगा इक्वल होगा ना मींस बट अभी तो बोला है कि सॉलिड का डेंसिटी ज्यादा सॉलिड का ज़्यादा तो इफ आई कंपेयर आइस एंड वाटर इसका डेंसिटी ज्यादा होगा बस आइस आइस का डेंसिटी ज्यादा होना चाहिए ना हैव यू गाइस एवर पुट आइस क्यूब्स इन वाटर यस तो अगर लाइक ग्लास ऑफ वाटर बोल ऑफ वाटर में उसमें आइस क्यूब्स डाला है ना तो डस आइस फ्लोट और सिंक फ्लोट इफ आइस फ्लोट्स उसका डेंसिटी ज्यादा होना चाहिए कि कम होना चाहिए कम कम होना चाहिए कम होना चाहिए ना लेकिन आइस तो सॉलिड है ज्यादा क्यों है मिस बट इट्स एक्चुअली मेड ऑफ सुपर सो नो लाइक दिस इज एन एक्चुअल थिंग इन द यूनिवर्स दिस इज लाइक अ स्पेशल केस फॉर आइस आइस का डेंसिटी इज लेस देन वाटर का डेंसिटी देयर इज अ रीजन फॉर दिस सो दिस इज ट्रू फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टेक एनी मेटल लाइक इफ आई टेक आयरन and if i melt iron molten iron may if i put an iron block it is going to sink similarly you know even if you consider something like oil ghee and all that if you put a solid block of that same substance it is going to sink this is true solids ka density is maximum followed by liquids followed by gases but only in the case of ice this is an anomaly this is an exception because particles again it comes down to particles ka arrangement so both of them are made of the same thing uh, both of made them are made of h2o which is two atoms of hydrogen joined by one atom of oxygen right so water if you consider ki water ke atom molecules kaise dikhte this is what it looks like you have one oxygen which is bonded which is combining with two atoms of hydrogen here right yeah. okay mm. now if you compare ice and water this is what it looks like so ice ka structure now this is because of certain properties of water it has like positive charge negative charge like we'll you'll learn about this in much more detail later on but essentially if you look at the arrangement of particles 
सॉलिड इज रिजिड कॉम्पैक्ट नाउ आइस के पार्टिकल्स आर ऑर्गेनाइज इन दिस वे इट इज रिजिड दे वोट चेंज द शेप आइस क्रिस्टल्स आइस क्यूब्स जो भी है दिस इज हाउ दे आर फॉर्म वेन वॉटर फ्रीजेस नाउ वॉटर इज नॉट वेरी रिजिड ना लाइक वॉटर पार्टिकल्स कैन फ्लो अगेंस्ट ईच अदर सो इफ यू लुक एट वॉटर के पार्टिकल्स आर फ्रीली फ्लोइंग इस तरह का स्ट्रक्चर नहीं है इट इज मोर लूजली पैक्ट so based on this sort of arrangement can you figure out kiska density zyada hoga kiska density kam hoga mam liquid ka zyada hoga liquid ka zyada hai na you can see like there's more yeah. number of particles in the same volume of liquid what else yeah. density more than yeah so that is the reason ice ka density like this you won't find with other normal common substances only with water this is the case because of this peculiar nature of water jab ice crystals form ho raha hai to it will arrange itself only in like this way the specific way na like randomly stack nahi honge ice ke particles okay so that's and that's like a speciality of water and it is because of this reason that life is possible on earth okay so you know if you consider earth uh earth pe you have icebergs and ice flows and all that right so if ice was not floating on the oceans uh it won't insulate the oceans below and because of that like because it was insulating like because the ice was acting as a barrier and it was like not allowing it was protect like trapping the heat inside the oceans the sea creatures microbes and all are able to survive if that didn't happen if ice just sunk and water was like not protected against the cold uh, not protected against the uv rays and all that uh, life would have just died out so water is like a very special compound this is one of the reasons why and this is what made life possible on earth okay so that's like one thing about density uh density is affected by the arrangement of particles which is again defined solid liquid gas that's the thing okay. miss could you just one more time explain um, why you said life wouldn't be possible without this huh. so do you know uh, ice is an insulator like ice so log igloos mein kyu rehte hai how is it possible to live in an igloo even though it's made up of ice because ice insulates like agar andar ka heat hai it will keep it trapped inside it won't like let it go outside okay it it acts as an insulator so that's the same effect which it which ice does in the oceans also like back when ice age when there were a lot of icebergs and ice flows floating over water uh, because ice was floating on water whatever life was inside water the fishes microbes worms to be there uh, the temperature did not drop so much that these these animals could die out अगर आइस नहीं होता लाइक इफ आइस हैज सम वन इट वुड क्रश ऑल द क्रीचर्स अंडर इट एंड टू लाइक देर इज नो इंसुलेटर तो अगर टेम्परेचर कम है ड्यूरिंग नाइट टाइम ड्यूरिंग विंटर सीजन तो इट वुड हैव फ्रोजन ऑल द लाइफ दैट वाज देयर इन द ओशन आइस वाज नॉट देयर टू प्रोटेक्ट इट ओके दैट्स व्हाट थैंक यू um then we discussed okay, fusion condensation ye sare we'll do it in the next class boiling point melting point ah i should have started with this characteristics okay this you know that matter is made of particles right if you keep cutting matter smaller 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 you'll find like particles atoms molecules whatever they may be a uh, large number of particles constitute matter they're very small in size uh they have spaces in between them which is intermolecular spaces and they are constantly moving so this is an important point part solids we said it was rigid right 
even though it is rigid they are always constantly moving now moving doesn't mean they're moving from place to place they are moving in their own place so liquids gases though it's easy to imagine how they're moving solids may if these are the particles now they can't go from their places but they are vibrating in their own place okay so solid liquid gases every single thing in the universe is constantly in motion that's where your kinetic energy is coming from so that's where in fact you know temperature of particles is also coming from okay so that's a point do we have to write the characteristics mm, not necessary i mean chapter much mein hai so rigidity uh, meanings tendencies like definitions we have already discussed then properties of solid liquid gases instead of doing them separately we discussed all of them in the same this thing okay um we have quite a bit of time actually so the rest of the chapter we deal with the changes in the states of matter so basically interconversion between solids liquids and gases okay so this also you guys know the basics of it quite easily you must have come across this pehle interconversion of solid liquid gases so let me just write solid liquid and gas solid to liquid agar ho raha hai to process ko kya bolte hain think of ice turning into water what do you call it heating 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 is just temperature increase karna but specifically when we are heat karne pe melting turning to water but ha huh, solid turning into liquid you call it melting you can achieve melting by heating that's one of the ways you can do it liquid turning into gas what do you call it Evaporation. Hmm? Evaporation. Evaporation. Mm, evaporation is one of the ways in which liquid turns into gas. But when we talk about this particular conversion, evaporation is not what we are. Uh, what we talk about. <laughs> Boiling. Boiling is the most common one. Yes. okay so this you are familiar with um i'll talk about the reverse processes also gas turning into liquid think of water vapor that comes up on like your glass windows or uh, evaporation condensation condensation evaporation is the opposite like evaporation ha ha nahi nahi this is condensation बोलते हैं ना कंडेंसेशन आया एंड लिक्विड टर्निंग इन टू सॉलिड फ्रीजिंग नॉट येट आई आई कंप्लीट ऑल द प्रोसेस मेल्टिंग यू गैज आर राइट बट द साइंटिफिक टर्म फॉर दिस what we use is fusion fusion if you come across a word fusion in like solid liquid is context mein it is same as melting it's just like a proper scientific formal term that we use similarly in place of boiling uh, we use the term vaporization So, like, as an example, if we write um, melting or boiling, it won't be considered, and like marks will be cut. Not necessarily. It'll be fine. It also depends on the context. So, I'm giving you guys these terms because is say related. We have something called latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization. 
तो उस केसेस में यू डोंट कॉल इट वेपर लेटेंट हीट ऑफ बॉइलिंग तो उनका नाम ही लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन है बट दीज टेम्परेचर यू यूज अगेन मेल्टिंग पॉइंट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट वही टर्म्स है सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट then we also have processes that connect solid and gas so when a solid turns into a gas have you guys come across this process pehle have you seen it in real life actually no no yeah. have you guys heard of something called dry ice yeah yeah what is dry ice uh, miss him basically where you know they store something for a really long period of time and the ice does not melt that's where it's used for... yes i mean i think you've seen it but you just don't know what it is i think there's vapor coming out of it while it is oh. in solid form yeah yeah so dry ice is basically even though it's called ice it's basically solid carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide gas pata hai na normally gas hona chahiye room temperature pe but they cool it enough to convert it into its solid state and that solid that you get from it is dry ice पानी को फ्रीज करो यू गेट आइस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड को फ्रीज करो यू गेट ड्राई आइस ओके सो व्हाट हैपेंस या यू गाइस एक्चुअली हिट अपॉन इट सो ड्राई आइस इट्स अ लाइक यू यू मेंशन इट्स अ सॉलिड थिंग और उससे वेपर आ रहा है सो क्या हो रहा है वहां पे द सॉलिड इज डायरेक्टली टर्निंग इनटू गैस विदाउट टर्निंग इनटू लिक्विड so that process the conversion of solid directly into gas without going through liquid so that process is called sublimation okay s u b l i m a t i o n sublimation so sublimation is process of going from solid directly into gaseous state without going through liquid that's the important part agar liquid bana to fir melting or vaporization hoga it won't be sublimation only if it is directly from solid to gas tabhi sublimation hoga so the dry ice thing uh, like usse vapor jo aa raha hai that is sublimation Meg has noted down okay yeah have you guys all got your chapter notes or is there anyone's on the way still no no i got it now Did the Ashwin you guys also receive chapter notes? Yes. yes. Yeah. The the personalized book. Okay. Oh. The chapter notes. Yes. Okay. So you can see some white pellets here, right? So these are dry ice ke pellets, and you can see how the gas is being released from them. so like this itself is getting converted into gas so solid being converted to gas so this process is called sublimation yahan pe jo ho raha hai not him pushing around this being converted to gas aur is ka reverse property bhi hai so forward it
the gas convert into solids ha huh. oh this is like a whole lot of you to that like that so this is like pieces of dry ice and it's instantly sublimating into gaseous carbon dioxide this is sublimation okay. so i don't know if they still do it but at one point like 5 years ago or something um so when you order ice cream right ice cream ko thanda rakhne ke liye they used to deliver it uh they used to pack it with dry ice and deliver it so if it is still there i let you guys know you guys can like order it and you know play around check out dry ice so is ka reverse property when a gas turns into a solid without going through liquid directly ye ho raha hai so that's called deposition think of it as agar solid like if if solid is getting deposited so deposit process hai deposition Yes. Just trying to find a video for deposition. This is a better video. So this is dry ice, solid carbon dioxide. है वो like carbon dioxide frozen to solid. लेकिन रूम टेम्परेचर पे गैस होना चाहता है सो दिस इमीडिएटली टर्न्स इनटू गैस इट्स नॉट इवन लिक्विफाइंग सॉलिड टू गैस सब्लिमेट हो रहा है just ah good now because this is connected to dry ice the the copper coin that they've put has become very cold and you can see direct atmosphere mein jo pani hai that is forming icicles on it itna thanda ho gaya ki it's able to freeze the water so because it's got converted from water vapor to solid ice without turning into liquid water so that is deposition yahan pe sublimation ho raha hai aur yahan pe deposition ho raha hai these are like ice crystals and copper is a conductor of heat ha huh. we just wanted to create that cold surface jis pe ice form ho sakta hai that's why they put copper there क्योंकि कॉपर इज अ वेरी गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट इट्स एबल टू यू नो कंडक्ट हीट टू द ड्राई आइस सो इसका टेम्परेचर बहुत आसानी से कम हो गया दैट्स व्हाई बिकॉज इट बिकेम सो कोल्ड वाटर इज एबल टू फ्रीज ओवर इट सो दैट्स सब्लिमेशन एंड डेपोजिशन आयोडीन का भी है या दिस ऑल्सो गुड experiment have you guys heard of iodine have you come across iodine before yes yes mm -hmm. so iodine is an element uh, mainly hospitals may use hota hai everyday life mein you must have done that have you guys done that experiment test for starch iodine turns blue black yeah ha ah. yeah 
So these are like iodine solids, blue black color. Looks like blueberries, but don't eat them. So thoda heat karne pe turns into gas. So you see, there's no liquid here. It's not turning into liquid. Direct gas ban raha hai. So these are iodine vapors, purple color. And then when you cool it, like they just put some ice to reduce the temperature, the gas directly turns into solid. Koi drop droplets nahi aare. It's not falling as droplets. The gas itself is directly getting converted to solids. Yeah, do you see the solid crystals here? So this is like another form of iodine K crystals. So niche sublimation hua or upper se deposition hua. अगर इसको हीट करोगे तो फिर से यू विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग द पर्पल फ्यूम्स ऑफ आयरे सो गेटिंग इन टू द इंडर कन्वर्जन प्रोसेस लाइक विद रिलेटिंग टू टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर एंड ऑल दैट वील कंटिन्यू दैट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास अभी के लिए यू गैस हैव नोटेड डिफरेंसेस इन सॉलिड लिक्विड गैसेस राइट यू हैव योर चैप्टर नोट्स यहाँ पे लाइक द फर्स्ट थिंग ऑल द डेफिनेशन आर हियर राइट डाउन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द सिक्स प्रोसेस दैट वी डिस्कस्ड सो फ्यूजन कंडेंसेशन देन सब्लिमेशन ये बॉलिंग सब्लिमेशन या नोट डाउन फॉर दीज थ्री फ्यूजन कंडेंसेशन एंड सब्लिमेशन इन तीनों का डेफिनेशन लिख के सबमिट द नोट्स Because actually, I had um, uh, forgotten to scan my biology and uh, phys physics notes. So is it fine if I make one PDF for all three subjects and make it, or I can even do three different for three. But if I submit it now, is it fine? Send three different because we have different teachers, okay. right? So they'll we look at okay. that particular PDF. Okay. Oh. What is sending from the group chat window? Huh? You have to send it on the chat only, right? Yeah, on the group. Yes. So condensation, sublimation, and fusion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll end the session here, and we'll continue next week. Uh.